Welcome back fans and friends of archery and if it's the first time you come by accident to my channel, welcome very much. Uh, my name is Armin, I am an archer and I do mainly Asiatic bow reviews and sometimes some techniques. So welcome to my channel and feel free to check out all the other videos I uploaded in the last few years and you can feel free directly to subscribe. Even a few of my regular viewers are not subscribed yet. And you can, after you like it, click the like button and you can write me a comment in your section where you come from. Uh, the new ones, of course. So, today we have another nice bow, the new Tatar bow by AF Archery. New development, redesigned, let's say. It's a Tatar laminated, has a strong 130, 135 centimeters, the string is 121 centimeters, brace head, I don't know. The poundage, uh, they wrote to me what the poundage is, but I don't know, and there's nothing written, but I guess it's a 35 pound. But we will find out in a second. Um, you can have them from 20 to 50 pounds, max draw is 32. The recommended arrow weight, I don't know. And now it starts. You can have this bow now base model in black for 149 US dollars and up to some very exclusive veneers to 279. This version here, I believe, is 199 US dollars. You can choose then the wood veneers, it's 30 euros more. You can have a takedown version, it's, uh, it's, it's 30 dollars more. You can have a takedown version, it's 70 dollars more. You can have the carbon core, $40, and I'll show you all the thingies from the website, but you better check directly on the website. Uh, you can have, uh, can't read it anymore, for $20, and you can have and a counterweight, which I think is interesting that you have a little more heavy uh, weight in the grip, it's $40 and some core material $30, so you can really customize your own bow how you like it. And I like this a lot. So the prices, I said, go then from $150 to $280, which is fine. Shipping, you need to see. Uh, I ordered just a few bows from them. Shipping is hilariously expensive. Oh, yeah. So let's see. But it's a pretty bow in this wood color. I like it. Uh, I don't tell you in centimeters, oh, I tell you in inches because I can. Wait a sec, so I'm still not a centi 54 inches. Arrow pass, as we know, with AF very narrow. I like that. It's roughly around 18 millimeters. Oh, so it's cool. Weight of the bow, I tell you in a second. What came down here? What fell off? don't know. Looking good, so they are now extremely thin. We have still these small string pads here. And the leather handle, we have two inlays on both sides. I like that. We have here the logo and I like this brownish color. And it's, again, not very shiny. It's more this, this silky smooth. It looks really, really nice, this bow. So thank you, EF, for sending it to me. Oh, yo, 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 my fingers. Already not working anymore. Yeah, they still work. So I'm just... So, it's a little windy, so we need to secure everything here. So now I, of course, would wish that they would include a second string and all this, but you know. So look at this. This is the top one. That string is pretty one looks really nice and I guess it will perform nice so and you can really make it fit your budget I like this a lot but you can check on their website now so the poundage is not very high here yeah, I guess it's a 35 pound I think at least I ordered the 35 pound if I'm not mistaken oh look at this now you get a really pretty and this is again as I always say for me the the base design for every Asiatic reflex bow and then from this on they developed all the different longer, shorter, what have you. <coughs> Brace height seems a little bit high, no, but seven and a half inches just fine I guess. 
seven and a half. And I can tell you the weight before my fingers freeze off. <laughs> Kilogram. It's not very heavy. 325. Oh, is this cold here? 325. Oh, look at this. So, wait a second. Hmm? We? Oui? It's okay, Steve. So, nothing to complain for this price, $200. And the draw is nice. So back there you feel the handle a little bit going, but it's just nice. And just because I have it here, Simon's Raptor and in front the Tatar from AF. Two completely different bows. So Simon's bow is a little longer. And yeah, it's... it's I mean, both are very, very thin built now in, in the Sears and in the Kazan. But complete different design here. You see the string runs on the back over the string bridge and here you have it sideways and it ends up here in the string guide. So different designs and different beasts. So this is just... So you see... Tatar bows can have slightly different optics. What's left? Shooting. 35 uh, at 28 and 43 ish at 32. And we shoot now 400 grain first. It's a little less than 10 grain. Let's see what the bow is doing. <laughs> Looking good, it's lightweight, feels good. Handle feels nice, the string is nice. We fast. So I feel a little, but can go away. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. And now I shoot. 340 grain, it's most probably too lightweight. We oui, and there are two, oh, they're too expected. But you can make it work. I only need to refletch them, yeah, they look bad. So I didn't draw fully now yet, as you know me, but I mean, where are we? There, see it? Nice. The door is very nice and this boat just shoots nice. It's fast, I think, we will see in a second. Now look at this, where you point the arrow goes. You feel a little thing in your hand, but it doesn't annoy me. Because this boat performs awesome. I mean, for the price, $200. In this version, I guess I'm right. So I would always go for the for the weight in the grip. Helps you because here you feel it a little, even with almost 10 grain. But overall for the price, wow. If I stay here in Austria, I need an indoor place. So now let's see if I draw fully, huh? Let's see. Yeah, you feel it a bit in the hand. So always, it's not much more money, but get this grip stabilization. Oh, nice. Oh, you even got a built in already. I didn't see it in the beginning. This bow is pretty. And performs, look at this, quite, quite tiny sears. Uh, Bush and Kazan and you know what have you. They have a small string pad as we know it since ages. But the rest very thin, very sleek here. And then I like this wood, this wood color is just nice. I don't know which one is this now, but you know. Then you get your inlays here and the leather handle, which is just my dirty here. Which is just fine. Could be a little bit bigger for me, but it's it's fine. Seeing the scratched already the inlay, 
I only have no idea how people can ruin this so much that it will come out, but it's okay. So you have here nice control over the bow, and you have here a very narrow arrow pass, which I totally like. So this bow is beautiful and works just nice. People always ask me which bow should I get as my first Asiatic bow. This is one. $200 and the Tatar design is just, is not so special like the Turkish one with the handle and it draws a little longer than most of the Turkish ones. Just a nice bow for beginners in 25, 30 pounds. This bow will perform just nice. Here in 35 pounds it's just nice. Nice to shoot. You feel it still a little in the hand. I hope it will go away. Let's quickly check what it does here with the 400 grain and I said we are 43 pounds or something. 184. 178. 183. Uh, 340 grain. 96. Speedy Gonzales. 184. Oh, I kneel on my arrow. Try <laughs> arrow in the knee. 192. So you're close to 200 foot per second with the, you know, with a base model of a Tatar bow. Awesome. And it's just a versatile bow, so you can do your target shooting. This bow is great on horseback. You can go 3D with it. This is really a nice bow. I just still feel it in the hand a bit. But 3D, it's nice. Oh, the balls! Just nice. Shoot some distance. meters, 22 maybe, it's no problem, this boat just performs nice. Ah, look at this, this one gives you instant feedback, look at this, you know what this bow is doing, incredible, wow, let's hope it focuses now on the back and then you see the target. I mean, I think everybody should have a Tatar bow in his arsenal and why not getting this one? You can custom uh, fit it to your needs, you know, from, from 100, they said 150 dollars up to 280. Just nice. <laughs> easy, easy. It's almost like cheating. The only thing we have a little vibration going on. I hope it will go away. Maybe because I maxed out everything, I don't know. I still feel it a little bit. So if you get this bow, always get the, the grip reinforcement or this, this weight in the grip with it. It will help you. It makes the bow a little heavier, but it will help you with this. I mean, if you don't mind, I, I don't mind, but I feel it still a little. Let's see the three directions. Yeah. This one works just fine. Oh, my fingers. 
Yep, works fine too. <laughs> That's everything you need for a price, which is really, really interesting. This version, I think now, this is how it is, 199 US dollars. Awesome. And 35 pounds, just fine. I don't want to stop shooting now, even if my fingers are already frozen. So let's at least let's try one proper shot with a little torque cutter today. Huh? Nice. Forward cutter. Cutter. I don't like this one. <laughs> and forward side cutter, how I call it, surely has a nice fancy name to it, but no, I don't know. It's just beastie. Fun. You don't want to stop shooting this bow. I, this one goes to 3D for sure too next time, but it's not in the weather right now. An awesome bow. You see my uh, rating. I show you now quickly. Incredible bow for the price. This thing weighs nothing, performs nice, has and there see there is not much slag and then the draw curve is just smooth. Back there you feel the handle moving but it's fine. It's get the handle stabilization thingy. That's the only thing you should always take with this bow for the rest incredible bow so thank you very much AF Archery for sending it to me I really like this one and that's all I have for you today thank you very much for subscribing for commenting for sharing this video for liking and for the rest we are now just in between these fancy holidays we just skipped this Christmas and now we are before the new year I wish you all a good time and I said if you start your new year on the 1st of January, start it very well and shoot some arrows. Thank you for watching. I catch you in the next one.